Okay, Scotty, recognize that carburetor? Okay, what you got here, this is not a Rochester carburetor, of course, to the average guy, they probably wouldn't care. Anyway, it's a, there's no, no name or numbers on it. It was a aftermarket, well, we don't know if they're made in China, we're here in Australia and Mexico, but whatever it is, it's a copy. <clears throat> now, in your, in your diagnosis that you filled out, you had in there that it runs rich. I'm going to have to talk to you. So when you see this video, call me and tell me how you knew that it was running rich. Now, let me show you a few things we're going to test. First of all, this is Carburetors and More, www.carburetorsandmore.com, 832-221-4007. Okay, first of all, we're going to put the fuel pump on. This is, this is the normal pressure that we run them at. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to up, triple the pressure which is usually will show up any kind of flooding or anything else and immediately it does not so I put it back to the normal which you know what it's supposed to be when you purchase a carburetor from us we'll tell you what the pressure is supposed to be which this is fine now I don't know if you have a, a computer or how you determine that the thing was running rich although it is running rich However, if it was, if you thought it was running rich because of the way it acted as far as performance, you would never know the difference. Okay? But if you have to have special instruments to determine whether it was too rich or not. Okay. <laughs> That's what we call the no load test. That's with your alternator. Of course, that car might have a generator. Power steering, probably not. Whatever. Any accessories in neutral. Now we're going to go back and we're going to hook the dyno up. That tells the story. And we're watching all we got. Five different gauges that we're watching. Okay. They don't lie and they don't care. Okay, here we go. Now, the way a carburetor should do the atmospheric pressure, which is what we got here, we're at sea level, 14 pounds per square inch on the surface of the earth. What it should do, it should have a certain air fuel ratio at idle. As it accelerates, it should begin to thin out until it reaches approximately the atmospheric pressure reading around here. I'm not going to tell you all the technical stuff because then people will try to fix their own carburetors. But I want you to call me on the phone and I need to know a couple things. How you determine... How you determine it was running rich and that's it. All I need to know, and then we'll, you need them. We'll determine what we're gonna, what we'll do from there.